Greetings everyone. This presentation focuses on the use of a peer support mechanism in a writing classroom. Specifically, I will be discussing a peer support activity that was implemented in the form of a speaker series for a first year composition course entitled Writing for University and Beyond. The course introduces students to writing study scholarship and writing strategies that will prove useful for their experience with academic writing at the university level. As such, this presentation will describe the following themes, um, how this peer support activity or mechanism was structured, lessons learned from this peer support activity, as well as best practices with regard to using a peer support activity of this nature. So I'd like to say a little bit about my motivations for um, using this peer support mechanism. The writing course that I teach is purely instructor based, which means that there is no embedded course based support that is focused on providing um, one on one support to students in the course. However, my experience with embedded writing consultant at another North American institution shows that having embedded student support where current students can interact with and get advice from past students is instrumental because students will feel more confident asking questions of instructors and are more likely to express concerns that they may not feel comfortable asking of instructors. Um, students also benefit from hearing about the course, particularly course assessments, from the perspective of students who have completed the course successfully. Um, this course is also required by most programs at the university, and so many students are displeased about the fact that they are coerced to complete this first year writing course. So having students supporting the course helps students to feel more encouraged and more hopeful about their chances of success in the course. As such, I wanted to develop an initiative that would bring former students of this first year composition course back into the classroom to describe their experiences with completing major assignments, particularly the strategies that they found most effective for helping them complete the major assignments. Keeping a diversity framework in mind, I also felt it was really important to invite students of diverse ethno-racial backgrounds and gender backgrounds to share their experiences and advice for completing major assignments successfully. Helen Cowie has really done a useful research about peer support in educational institutions, albeit for different purposes than I have used them for. Um, specifically, she notes that peer support is incredibly impactful from a social justice lens because it has a key role to play in the creation of safe social environments where there is a concern to promote fairness, inclusiveness, and justice for all. Cowie and Wallace also note that peer support involves drawing on a shared personal experience to provide information, social interaction, emotional support or practical support, often in a way that is mutually beneficial and differs from other forms of support in that it is offered by a person with similar experiences to that of the people being helped. Additionally, Dobson, Beckman, and Forrest note that peer support has been successfully used to share information about topics that may be sensitive or difficult to teach with, with traditional pedagogical approaches. Um, many of my observations related to the peer support activity that I've used in my writing um, course confirm the findings of these researchers, and so my initiative can be viewed as a case study that reinforces their findings. Now I'll say a little bit about the format of this peer support activity. In preparation for the activity, I provided students with a fairly flexible set of guidelines that would help them prepare for visiting my class to speak about their experiences with the writing assignments. Um, the guidelines gave them the flexibility to present or share their experiences in any format um, with which they were most comfortable. However, I was explicit about the fact that they um, that most students tend to select a PowerPoint presentation because they often feel that there is that is their only option. But I emphasize that they have other options, including 
formatting their delivery in terms of a question and answer session um, or sharing a video presentation or building a, an activity that would prompt students to ask the peer supporter to share their experience with the course assessments. Many peer supporters chose to speak about their own experiences with the course and often followed that up with a description that um, included questions and answers that they created. In addition to the aforementioned format, I also addressed expectations about the peer supporters' visit um, to my class, including the fact that current students in the writing course would like to know the following things how the speakers or the peer supporters got an A grade on their assignments, the challenges with the assignment and how they resolved those challenges, the types of writing support or strategies that they found helpful and things that they know now but which they knew at the start of the assignment. Um, another thing to note at this point is that there are three major assignments in this course, a writing story, um, a discourse community analysis and a genre analysis um, and I tried to have one peer supporter or student speaker come into each of my classes uh, to share their experiences with each of this uh, each of these assignments sometimes one so one peer supporter spoke about multiple assignments sometimes they only spoke about one as I mentioned at the beginning of this presentation the diversity aspect of the peer support activity was very important given the student demographic, specifically many of the students in the course and many of the students at the institution come from diverse linguistic backgrounds. Um, and so in essence, I felt that seeing students from similar backgrounds would be encourage, encouraging for them. And so um, I was very intentional about recruiting students from um, diverse backgrounds. I was able to recruit students um, from a variety of South Asian, Southeast Asian and Middle Eastern backgrounds who identify with various gender identities to share their knowledge and advice with current students. The subsequent slides will include descriptions of lessons learned from this peer support initiative. Specifically, when I initially began the process of thinking about this peer support initiative, I only viewed the benefits of the initiative as being um, useful for current students of the course. I hope that they would receive practical tips and advice from former students of the course. However, to my surprise, I found myself gaining pedagogically useful insights from the students who offered peer support in my writing class. I have grouped these insights from the peer support activity into two categories, things that I observed that I think will be helpful for helping me Im improve the implementation of the same initiative next semester, and things that I heard from peer supporters that I found to be useful knowledge for my own teaching. So the first lesson learned that I will talk about is related to strategies that peer supporters found to be most helpful. Um, specifically, peer supporters or student speakers found that the list of guiding questions that were included in each of my assignment descriptions were very helpful. However, I found out that these questions were helpful to the students in ways that I did not intend. Um, I actually included guiding questions in the description for each major assignment to give students a better sense of what I was asking them to do or write about in the assignment. However, the peer supporters said that they found the questions useful for helping them get started with the assignment. More specifically, they adopted a question and answer approach to the assignment when writing their first draft. The answers to the questions not only allowed them to start the process of writing the essay and, and help them to build much needed momentum in the writing process, but also gave them the information that they could use to mold into a first draft of their assignment. I was surprised when I heard this because I never thought about how useful these questions might be in the early stages of the writing process, particularly the way in which it could be useful or helpful in, in encouraging their invention of responses to the essay prompts. The next lesson learned is related to pursuing um, interests. 
Um, one of the student speakers or peer supporters encouraged students to write about their interests. The student speaker emphasized that adopting this perspective helped them to overcome the fear of starting essays and the challenges of completing an assignment that was unfamiliar. Um, I found this advice to be really useful and continue to emphasize and stress this throughout the entire course. The impact of this emphasis was quite noticeable as many students wrote in their post assignment reflections that they really enjoyed writing their assignments because they wrote about a topic of interest that they were interested in knowing more about. Um, this level of pleasure that the students experienced was a definite shift in the attitude and energy of the course, especially when compared to the attitude of students in, pre in previous installments of the same course. Students in previous installments of this course often complained about how difficult they found the assignments to be. So the peer supporters' comments, in my opinion, definitely helped to shape uh, perspectives that ultimately influence the attitude of current students in the course. Another peer supporter also shared that they value the peer review workshops in the course, but more importantly, they encourage current students in my course to take the workshop seriously. The student speaker also shared that they felt the workshops worked best when they wrote complete drafts of their paper rather than partial drafts. This ensured that they would receive preliminary feedback from the instructor on the entirety of the paper. However, I usually um, encourage students to do something different, which is to write enough or as much as they can, uh, as much as they can to give me a sense of the direction they are taking with the paper. So my perspective on the peer review process was slightly different from the peer supporter or student speaker. Still, my current students felt this was good, at, good guidance from the peer supporters because it helped them to understand what it would take for them to be successful in the course during the early stages of the semester. So to conclude, um, I found that peer support um, strategies or initiatives in first year writing course is quite useful for encouraging enthusiasm among students in required writing courses. The peer support um, student speaker series helps student learners um, identify useful strategies that would ensure their success in the writing practice. Um, peer supporters also found the uh, strategy to be quite useful as a metacognitive exercise that helped them learn lessons that would be useful for future writing situations. Um, and finally, I found it useful for helping me to be more intentional with my course development uh, because I gained so many insights from what my peer supporters shared in their visits. Thank you.